What's up? It's your girl Shay Parker and you are tuned in to Inside Shay's Boutique and I am here with Miss Black DC USA and we're getting ready to do top five. Yes, we are. Stay tuned. All right, so I have Ms. Black DC USA here with me today in the studio, and we are going to do our famous top five Woo. segment. Now, this is how it works. Are you yes, ready? I'm ready. So I am going to give you five questions, yes. and you have to give me your top answer, answer to each, okay? All right, I'll try my best. <laughs> here we go. Question number one. Uh -huh. What is the beauty product that you just cannot live without? If yes. you had to get on a plane and go to an island and they're like, look, you can only bring <laughs> one beauty product, Listen, what will it be? It's gonna have to be coconut oil. Okay, <laughs> black girl magic. Period, you can use it for your skin, you can use it for your hair, you can eat it. What, what can't you do with coconut oil? You it'll can solve, use it for other things It'll too. bring world peace, okay? <laughs> just in case you meet somebody on that island, you know, you want. All right, we're not gonna get into that. Question two, now what beauty trend mm -hmm. do you wish yes. was left in the last decade? 2019, because it's 2020, mm -hmm. it's a new decade, mm -hmm. and it's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah that I think we could tone down. <laughs> What's yours? I would probably have to say nose contouring because again, it's a it's a, just a beauty trend, but I feel like some people take it too far to the point where they want to transform themselves into looking like something they're not. I think people <laughs> should just embrace their natural beauty and just be confident in who they are. Now, I've seen some serious nose contours. Thank you, exactly. I personally don't contour yeah. my nose because my nose is already small. Yeah. So when I contour, I literally look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> The white Michael Jackson, <laughs> by the way, not the black one, the white right, one. Right, right. <laughs> so I, I am with you on that one. That exactly, was a good answer. Yes. Now, question three. Mm -hmm. What do you wish men would stop commenting on when it comes Ooh, to black Lord. women and their beauty? Now, I know we could be here all day for that. Right, one. exactly. Okay, I'm going to narrow it down to just our hair, okay? Y'all can judge us if we have the lace fronts. Y'all can judge us if we have the fro. If it's not long enough, if it's too short, if it's a different color, Leave us alone. My hair has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with me. Thank you. <laughs> Especially if you're not paying for it. You're not even paying you're for it. You're not even paying for it. I feel like a lot of men have comments. And I mean, everybody can have preferences. Yeah, of course you can Don't have preferences. Don't get me wrong, because yeah. I have a preference. Right. I like them tall, I exactly. like them dark, I like them Thank bald, you. I like them bearded. Exactly. Okay. So, you know, you can have a preference, but yeah. I feel like it kind of goes beyond that mm -hmm. when we see the back and forth mm -hmm. on social media. Exactly. And, you know, there was just that recent incident mm -hmm. with Ari Lennox, yeah. uh, where they were saying on social media right. she looked like a pit bull. Exactly. And sometimes it's not even our black men, it's our no, black women it's too. it's our black women too co-signing it too. And it's terrible because it's just like, we're supposed to be in this together. Like, why are you adding What side to are you on? Exactly. <laughs> like, no. Stop being a yes girl. <laughs> exactly. No, I am with you on that one. Yes. Now, question four. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Who is your favorite artist right now? Uh, you can only choose one. Listen, and there's only gonna be one. I have to go with my girl, Megan the Stallion. Hello. Hi, girl, summer all yeah. year. <laughs> summer, fall, winter, spring, everything, because I am so happy there's finally someone that's 5'10", just like me, and getting her education just like me, and not having to sacrifice to do either one, following her passion, following her dreams, and I relate to her so much. What I also like about Megan is yeah. that, listen, it don't matter what size nope. she is, nope. she gonna have that stomach out. Thank you. She gonna have that ass out. Self-confidence. Okay. Period. <laughs> I, I really, really like her, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Now, question number five. Yes. Um, what would you say mm -hmm. to the little girl who is looking at you Aww. and looking at this crown, yeah. but she doesn't think she's beautiful enough? Stop. What would you tell her? Oh my gosh, I would tell her, first of all, why do you feel that way? Who told you you felt that way? Because it's somebody that told you you feel that way. Because I know I came out the womb confident, okay? So do not came believe- Came out the room slamming, <laughs> straight. <laughs> so this world sometimes, they just wanna break you down and it's all just a lie. Do not believe the hype, you are a gorgeous being. And guess what? Just like, you may not feel like you fit in right now, but as time goes on, trust me, you will find your place and the things that make you different are the things that are gonna make you stand out later on in life and get you the places you need to go. Trust me on that. And that's just that on that. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you so much too. That's top five on Inside Shay's Boutique.